Operating in any business, in any sector, in any location is challenging. You've got competitors, you've got a whole range of forces that you need to deal with. If you can get the edge through having a better understanding of the place that you're operating in, of your customers, of the environment in which you're operating, that's going to place you best for future success. We actually went to the tourism industry and we asked our partners what they wanted. They said, look, one of the things we really don't know is where people actually go. The Tourism Tracking Project is really about understanding where different types of people go. We tracked them using a smartphone. The app contained a GPS technology, so we tracked them as they moved around the state. This is real time, it's accurate down to 10 metres, and the, the detail of data is, is just tremendous. We've always known a little bit about our visitors, but we haven't got down to the really fine-grained information. The university through Sense2 clearly had the capability to provide insights that are really critical for industry and for government to make decisions. This is the largest study of its type ever to be done across an entire region. And it's also the largest study of its type in terms of the time that we've tracked people for. Because prior to this study, they'd only ever managed to successfully track tourists for one to two days. So to be able to track them for 14 days was a world first. Now we understand how people use infrastructure. Now we have data that can actually test the success of marketing campaigns. And now we can also understand what drives decisions. You know, what are the risky aspects of tourism? The impact that this research has had has been really significant, both industry impact and also academic impact. This is a really exciting project and one that, to be frank, will give Tasmania a jump on its competitors. This sort of information is going to allow us as a state to probably understand our visitors better than anywhere else in the world.